you most likely come to this video because you have an iPad and a TV and you're probably trying to figure out how to connect iPad to TV. Now there are a bunch of different ways to do that and lucky for you, I've come up with three quick and easy ways. But before I share, can I ask for a tiny favor? Go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you want more tech guides and content every week. The first method is using mirroring apps. Now I will say that there are a lot of apps that do this, but don't even bother with the others because Ducast is the best one. Save yourself some time. Ducast is a reliable solution for connecting iPad to TV. It works with a range of smart TVs and also supports Chromecast, Fire TV, Roku, and DLNA devices. If you're like me and get annoyed with lagging or frequent disconnects, you don't have to worry because Ducast is mad smooth. It's really easy to set up. My 92 year grandma can do it. I actually think she did do it on my TV. First, install Ducast on your iPad and launch the app. Right away, it'll ask for access to things like network, Bluetooth, and of course your photo library. This allows it to connect to your TV, so make sure to allow it. Once you're finished, simply connect to the device of your choice. You can use Ducast to mirror your screen, cast videos of your cat, play music, and show photos. It's pretty seamless, especially when you marry your screen. To do that, tap screen, adjust the image quality and other settings if needed, then tap the big red button. A system window will appear, tap start broadcast. It's that easy. And one of the best options, especially if you do not have AirPlay. If you do have AirPlay, then the second method, how to connect iPad to TV wirelessly is for you. And that's of course, AirPlay. Look, if you don't know what AirPlay is, that's totally fine. Just know that it's Apple's built-in method for wirelessly casting your iPad screen and content to your TV. Maybe you're a student in your final year and you have to present a PowerPoint. I remember those days. Or you're hosting movie night with your friends and want to stream some videos. AirPlay is an easy solution for that. Supported brands are Samsung AK series, LG OLED AK series, Roku TCL, and others. Make sure that your iPad and your TV are on the same Wi-Fi network. On your TV, head to settings, menu, click connection, airplay, and you have to make sure that it's turned on. Go grab your iPad, swipe down on the top right corner, and you're gonna see a lot of icons, but you just need to tap the AirPlay icon that looks like this. Select your TV and that's it. You can now marry your entire iPad screen, show off your baby pictures and game right on your TV. The final way to connect iPad to smart TV is by using HDMI. Starting with the pros, if your Wi-Fi constantly drops, HDMI is the best solution. A con of HDMI is unfortunately that you are gonna be tethered to your TV, meaning that you actually need to physically keep it plugged in. Yep, I said plugged, and that's because you need to connect your iPad to your TV. Let me explain. To connect via HDMI, you need an adapter and a USB-C cable or a lightning cable. And that depends on your iPad model. At the back of your TV, you're gonna see a bunch of HDMI ports. Find one and plug in the HDMI cable. Then plug the other end of the cable into your adapter. Grab your iPad and plug the adapter into your iPad's port. Finally, don't forget to select the correct HDMI input by using your TV's remote. Those are the three easy methods to iPad connect to TV. AirPlay, which was made by Apple and works wirelessly. There's third-party apps like Ducast, which work almost as seamless as AirPlay, which is Apple's native method, but it works on more TVs. And also you have HDMI, which can be great for those with unreliable Wi-Fi. Personally speaking, if I had to choose one of the methods, it would be Ducast, as Ducast works with all of my TVs at home and in the office. I hope you found this video useful. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments down below and like and subscribe while you're down there. Thanks so much for watching.